it is Laura Wilson from Gold Star Work. Today I am going to show you how to make an autumn tree with some watercolour and a plastic bag. So I'm using number six brush to do the branches and then the plastic bag for the rest of the painting. I'm going to show you how to do this tree here. Now you can do any colours you like, so if you don't want to do autumn trees, you could change the colours, you could do spring blossom trees, so you could do any colours that you feel like, and just do the appropriate shape tree for what you want. So it's really quick, really easy, and lots of fun. So let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to do an autumn leaf, and we're going to use a plastic bag. So I've done this one here, which I was actually going to show you how to do, but um, <laughs> I forgot to press record. So I'm going to show you how to do it with this one here. <laughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is a trunk. So I've got a bit of burnt umber and a bit of burnt sienna, and there's a little bit of purple in there and I'm going to paint in the tree trunk. I'm just going to change my brush because that one's a little bit big for that picture. So I'm using a number six round brush. This tree trunk's going to be a very wiggly one. And I'm going to get my plastic bag here. And you don't want to make your plastic bag too smooth like this. You want to make sure that it's got lots of pattern. So you want to really screw it up so you've got lots of lines and patterns in it. I'll just get rid of that. And I'm just using an old ice cream lid. And I'm going to start off with a bit of this medium yellow here. And I'm going to pop that on there. And you can see you get quite a lot of paint on there so just get a spare bit of paper and just plop it on the spare bit of paper a few times first so that you've got less paint and I'm going to put a bit on the ground as well and then you can get a fresh bit of bag, make sure I've got plenty of pattern on there, and I'm going to go in with some orange. So I'm just mixing my watercolour with a bit of water, just to get a reasonably runny mix, so you can see what that looks like. And I'm just going to just dab it a couple of times until I'm happy with the size of the, the dots. You know, and you can always pop it back in, do it a couple of times. So if you want bigger dots, so you just leave more paint on it. And if you want smaller dots, you can take more paint off. So I'm going to turn that over again. Take all the painty bit in, but make sure I've got plenty of pattern on it. And I'm going to mix up a little bit of the red. Plastic bag. 
I'm just going to dab that around a little bit. See what that looks like. So we're just going to let that dry for a minute. I'm just going to get some of this purple and mix it in with my dark brown, and I want a bit more purple. I want more of a purpley mix, and plenty of water. I almost lost it. I just want to give the suggestion of the ground. And same with this tree here. I'm just going to use that mix and just suggestion that there's some ground there. it out a bit over here. Okay. Fade this one out a bit too. We'll dry that off. And the good thing about this method is you can always go back and do a bit more. So I might put a bit more yellow in this one. So I'm going to use my lemon yellow this time. A bit more in that corner there. And a bit more on the grass. And then I think I'll go in with a bit more orange. And I want to deepen up that corner. And you want to try not to do it so much that you lose all the bits but then you can get some big bits and small bits to make it look more tree-like. And that is our finished tree. It's very quick and easy. I will make those into a card and show you what they look like. So here's what it looks like when it's all mounted. And here's the other one. So you can imagine those in different colours, you could do spring colours, you could do purples, just a different method, just a little bit different from the splatter trees, There's slightly different pattern on the leaf shapes and things but still just as fun and easy to do so anyone can paint. So I hope you have a good day and thank you for watching and happy painting everyone, bye!